2021. Today is 2nd January, which means that year 2021 has just started. And I wish all of you very productive and fantastic year full of clear skies and uh, amazing astronomy images and of course stay safe and healthy. Right now I'm at the country house which me and my wife and a couple of our friends rented to celebrate the new year. So we're staying here for the whole weekend and it's really cool place to stay because it's surrounded by very beautiful landscape. It has mountains nearby, it has river. It's just very nice place for humans and animals. The house is located at the north of Portugal between the cities called Ponte de Lima and Arcos de Valdevez. And at around five minutes drive from here, we have a very famous uh, hiking route called Ecovia do Vez, the part of which we walked already today and it was really nice. To be honest, when we planned the trip to this place, I wasn't really sure if uh, I would be able to do any astronomy because the forecast was controversial. But uh, anyway, I took all of my stuff with me, just in case, basically. And luckily today, the forecast is saying we're gonna have very nice clear sky. And why I like this particular time of year at winter is because even today the moon is almost full. I will still have the time after sunset at around 6 until the moon is uh, going up at around 8.40. I will have roughly two hours of imaging, so it's very cool. And today I've decided to shoot two targets at the same time, the California Nebula and the Pleiades. You've probably seen already this kind of shot when those two fit nicely in one frame and there's a lot of dust uh, between them. And uh, basically I want to take this shot myself and see if I'm able to do so. For that I'm gonna use 50 millimeters lens, which I have for a long time already. And uh, my regular setup, Skyguider Pro, ASI Air Pro and uh, auto guiding. I'm gonna auto guide even though it's just a 50 millimeters because uh, I don't trust this guy. I want all of my frames be without start trailing basically. If you notice I had to do some weird thing here. I mounted camera on top of the ball head as well because I couldn't balance it uh, with this pretty heavy counterweight because this lens is very light, but I hope it won't introduce any additional issues. And once I start the imaging, we're gonna cook some burgers for the dinner. Mm -hmm. 